Hey guys, Chris and Jamie here from Tuma Family Farms. Um, it's summertime and it's a Saturday and it's raining here in Georgia. We're not complaining, we need some rain for the pastures and things like that. But we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna do some stuff inside. Uh, we've done some canning videos in the past and um, a lot of people liked what we did. So Jamie's great at this stuff. She's been doing it for a long time. Um, I am definitely here just for moral support and I snap a lot of green beans. So we're gonna start off this video um, and we're gonna try to do as step-by-step step as possible. So we're gonna start off with how to prepare green beans to be snapped, okay? All right guys, so there's nothing difficult about this. So what you see right here, these are all prepared green beans. So this is, uh, we have 22.22 pounds of green beans that we're gonna be canning today. But to start off with, it's all about fresh green beans picked from the garden. And um, when green beans get started, they produce a lot. So we, it's one that our kids like, we like. But what we like to do, so we'll take a green bean and we'll take that sharp point off the end. And we'll take the stem point off that end. And then you just snap, snap, go back, grab you another one, sit and watch TV while you're doing this stuff, uh, you know, whatever it is. But that's basically all you're gonna do to the vegetable itself. As you're going through this, there's gonna be bad parts on it, maybe where there's you know, worms or whatever, um, or rot if they were on the ground, maybe the ends of them had started to rot or something like that. But you can kind of watch and pick through that stuff as you're going through. After this, so we started snapping these earlier this week, and what we do every time after we finish snapping a bucket or a bag, whatever it is, we'll take them to the sink and we'll get them washed up nice and, and clean. And then we'll bag them up like this. Uh, we got some over here that are in a, an actual uh, grocery bag. Anyway, we'll just stick them in the fridge till we're ready to do what we gotta do with them. And, uh, and then, like earlier today, we pulled these out because we didn't want these to go into jars cold because that's gonna prolong the process of canning. But as far as preparing, green beans to go into jars. That is all you have to do. Snap off each end. Some people like to get a little bit more uh, uniform with it and they'll take something and they'll actually cut them into the links they want or whatever. We don't worry about all that stuff. We're just trying to get it all put up. Um, we eat this stuff all year long. Before we had a farm business, we were more of a, a homestead type uh, farm anyway, but that's all it takes right there. Um, we're going, I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to turn it over to Jamie because she is the expert when it comes to this. She's going to show you everything that you need to actually go through this process. <laughs> okay, so as um, Chris says, he's, he's been working on preparing all of these green beans. I'm going to go over the actual supplies we're going to use to actually can them. Um, so we're going to do two different size jars today. I'm going to do quart size. Um, those are, you know, we have a family of five ourselves, plus three yeah, plus girlfriends, ever, boyfriends, whatever. Um, we normally have a house full of kids, so we're going to do a bunch of quart size, and then, you know, for smaller meal days, that we'll do the pint size. Um, pickle and salt, cannon salt, 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 um, goes in each jar, um, of course, different amounts in the two different sizes. We're going to be using these ball sure tight lips. Um, this is something that they changed, I guess, maybe last year sometime. Um, these, in the past, you used to have to take the actual flats and boil them. Now they recommend just washing them in hot soapy water and you don't have to boil them. And they're supposed to seal just as good as the old fashioned stuff. Um, we haven't had any issues with them so far using them. Um, this will move the hot jars from the canner, um, of course teaspoon, half teaspoon, and then always hot hands, everything's hot. Um, hot oil and water, so once we, uh, so these green beans will be cold packed. Some people actually cook them and hot pack them, um, I have found over the years that uh, cold packing just works a whole lot faster for us. Once again, no issues doing it whatsoever. So with the cold packing of any of the vegetables, hot bowl and water. Um, and then of course our pressure canner. 
In this video, you'll probably see us use two different ones. This one's gonna hold the quart size jars. Um, we have another one that will actually double stack the pint size jars. And then of course, last but not least, our jars are washed, hot soapy water, sanitized. And then my traditional trick is once that is placing them in the oven, I do it about 175 to 185 degrees. It keeps them hot the whole time. Some people have made comments on the videos that it's not a safe thing to do. Once again, I have not found an issue with this. Um, no broken jars, everything seals appropriately. Your key factors are your time, the time and the pressure canner. And once we get to that point, you know, I'll explain that also. Um, the other thing people question is pressure cannon versus water baths. That's something else we could go over. Pressure cannon, there are vegetables that have to be pressure canned. And that's for the safety of, you know, of course us consuming it later in the months. And then there are items that just get water bath. And that's all has to do with acidic versus non-acidic food, so. You ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I've got um, the hot jar out and Chris is preparing my flats. He's getting them washed and um, running hot water. So we're just gonna fill this jar. And of course, as going through it, we've been pretty good about checking all of these green beans, but when there's so many, sometimes you find a stray one that made it in there that you just don't want to can. So, I'm going to fill this to the rim. And then the key is this, is packing them down in there. Put a lot of pressure on it. Put just a few more in there. They'll give some, but not a whole lot. So I like that one inch space, which is recommended. All right, so with the quart jars, um, salt is optional. Um, it is recommended because, of course, if you don't put salt in there, they come out, they're just flavorless, and then you have to spend a whole lot more time seasoning them when you're cooking them. So one teaspoon in quart jars, and then, of course, our hot bowl of water. I'm going to fill all this. A certain point and then we're missing a tool okay so this little nifty little thing so it will go down in there so I just run it along the side of the jars you don't want to actually like do a stirring method so this is to help release any of the air bubbles that are just sitting in between the green beans and as you do this, you'll notice that your water level kind of goes down. So that's where you have to add some more water to make sure you have the accurate amount of water in the jar when it's going into the pressure canner. So I'm gonna add just a tad bit, lay that half inch to an inch head space. And that all has to do with the, the whole process while it's in the actual jar. If you fill this to the top, then you could run into the situations where the jars will bust, won't seal properly, um, too much will siphon out of it while it's in the canner. So you take your flat and put it on top, and then your ring, and you just hand tighten it. You don't wanna crank down on it too, far, too hard, because then of course that'll give you other problems in the canner. All right, guys, when you turn the camera off, Jamie and I got a little assembly line going and uh, we got these other jars filled up. So this, do you remember how many quarts that one canner is right there? The, I mean, that, no. No, okay. Anyway, so it will hold seven quart jars. So Jamie and I try to do this uh, for the year. That's what we grow our garden for. If we have any excess, we do sell it. But um, we got seven in here. She's fixing to lock the lid down on this thing and uh she's got a little 
a little weighty rocker thingy that she puts on here. Like I said, I'm not the, I'm not this guy. I'm just the helping hand. So she locks the lid down and then she's gonna make sure it's where it needs to be. And then that little spout on the top is going to get a rocker put on it after a certain time. She might could explain when that time would be. Yes. So um, once the lid's on there, so there, there's a few things to look at, you know, the canner for one, pulling it out. You always wanna check your seal on it, make sure it's not rotted or anything like that. Um, I try to oil it in the off season just so I don't um, run into any of that. But you know, those are things you investigate before you actually start using the canner. Um, so this little piece right here is a vent. Um, after this heat gets so high in here, this portion where the actual little weight will go on. So there's gonna be steam that's gonna start escaping from this after, it normally takes about 10 or 15 minutes or so. This will um, vent out for a while. We'll actually put the weight on there. This little piece will pop up and then this weight will actually start rocking. You don't want it to rock too fast. You want it to have just a slow little steady rock. Um, but once it gets to that point, we'll actually go over that a little bit more. So we're gonna actually let this build up its pressure, um, vent for a time period, and then we'll come back to the next steps. All right, so about 10 minutes later, we've got steam blowing off the top of here and um, the little thingy, little valves popped up. So she's ready to stick her weight on there and we're gonna watch and see what it does. So this is um, 10 pounds uh, of weight. So if I was to add the second one on there, um, it's 15 pounds, but for this, you only do 10 pounds of weight. So, whoop, 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 whoop. It's over there somewhere, don't burn yourself. So you place it on there, and then after so long, all of that steam and the pressure is actually sealed in there, and this will actually start to rock. <laughs> As the dogs start barking yeah. all our noise. All right, she finally got to rocking. So now that we have it built up, so basically the 10 pound weight just gives it, creates 10 pounds of pressure. And once it reaches that, it starts rocking. So how long does this have to do this before we? So the court jars um, are 25 minutes. Um, and then the paint jars are uh, 20 minutes. So now that this is um, rocking where it needs to rock, I'm going to actually set a kitchen timer just so we don't forget. And we'll let it do its thing. And once the 25 minutes is up, then we'll just remove the whole canner from the stovetop and place it on the hot hand and let it depressurize on itself before we open it up and remove jars. The timer just went off, so we jumped up from our nap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, timer went off. So she's moving that over, and uh, this will sit here until it depressurizes. It'll stop rocking, and I believe, and my wife will correct me if I'm wrong, but that little thing back there will finally go down. Mm -hmm. And when it goes down, then we can open it up and pull out those. But in the meantime, to keep this process going, uh, we have borrowed a uh, another pressure canner, that one that she's got in her hand, that is deeper for my mother, and we're going to get it started, and we're going to fill it up with pints so we can uh, keep this day rolling right along. All right, guys, same process on the pint jars. Uh, the amount of salt that goes into them is a little bit different, but uh, we've got a big canner to fill up, so we've got a bunch of jars to fill. So uh, the size difference in the salt going in these, we went from a teaspoon in the quartz to a half a teaspoon. So you just cut it in half, okay? So we're gonna get these filled up and we're gonna get them in there and uh, we'll come back in just a few. So guys, there's not really a time limit uh, but you do want to try to, to do this as quickly as possible because your jars are hot, your water's hot, 
and you want to kind of get it all together and get it going so that you keep everything at the same temperature you start letting things get cool or cold or whatever then it's all of a sudden causes a problem and on top of that we got a bunch to do this time All right, now we're back to the lids going back on, or the lid, the flats going on anyway. And we're gonna get all the, the rings screwed down hand tight, remember hand tight. And uh, we're gonna start stacking them up. We got a whole nother tray like this to do. So she's gonna get the first layer put in and then we'll be able to put a, another layer in on top of that. All right guys, so when you're double stacking in a pressure canner like this, you want to uh, put this little rubber spacer between them so that you're not just sitting on top of your other jars, okay? Sometimes with these little rubber things, you just gotta kind of position them, make sure you got something underneath them, but there it is. So how many jars is that? 18. There? So there's 18 pints in there. So we're gonna lock this down. So is this gonna be the same amount of time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes on these. So 20 minutes on these and she's gonna lock it down. This pressure canner is a little bit different. It's got a gauge on it, but they all work about the same way. So we're gonna go take another little nap and we'll come back. All right, so our valve here has gone down so we can actually open this thing. It's still burning hot, but normally what you do is you take it and you just twist it and open it right on up. So there they go, and Jamie has this fancy little tool here, but we normally just pick them up just like that, dump the excess water off the top of them, and then we'll move them over here to start cooling. All right guys, so this pressure canner is a little bit different. I'm gonna let Jamie explain to you all the differences in the one from mom that we're using versus <coughs> this one. All right, so on the other video, you remember how I was explaining to you that this is the weight. So that's the 10 pound weight um, for the other pressure canner that we were just using. So once it starts shimmying, then you know that the um, canner is up to pressure. So this one actually has a gauge on it. So of course the same thing, we let it vent through this piece. Um, the little tab popped up um, during the venting process. We close the vent off and then the pressure has come up over maybe about five minutes or so up to the 10 pound pressure and now we're just holding it steady. So these paint jars are gonna go for about 20 minutes and then the same process, once the 20 minutes is up, we'll take the whole canner and slide it over to the side and let it cool down and depressurize on its own. All right, so we got the next batch ready. Uh, just wanna real quick show you the comparison. There you go. So these on the right are done the one on the left is about to go in there so uh getting them put in all right so we had a casualty of canning um this happens sometimes uh according to my lovely wife that knows a lot more about this than i do normally when the bottom of these jars bust out like this is some type of defect in the jar whether it's a hairline crack or or uh we've used this jar you know three or four years in a row for canning and uh it's just kind of to the end of its life expectancy but it happens sometimes if you're going to can and you're going to can often you're going to see this all right so if you ever wondered what 22.22 pounds of green beans canned looks like this is it um this was a a, a big time deal for us 
we'll put this up and, and we'll have more to put up for uh, the rest of the year from what we've got and we'll still probably sell some as well but um, that's what it looks like nice little success a couple hours worth of work for Jamie and I all right guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, can and green beans, um, pickles and all sorts of other stuff. We, we can all kinds of things. Um, we're gonna do uh, tomato sauce this year, more stewed tomatoes, uh, pickles and a couple other things. We've said in the past that we were gonna do more canning videos and uh, this year we're probably gonna get after that. So um, if you don't mind, go down there and hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. Uh, we do all, all things for them. So, uh, keep up with us and we'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.